Welcome to Chiang Mai, Thailand, guys. Well, tonight is a Friday night, and it's obviously one of the busier nights here. Well, I'm not drinking. I'm actually second day sober. And you might be thinking, well, not a big deal. But more importantly, why are you telling us this, Sammy? Well, there is a reason for it. There's a, there's a story behind it. So hear me out. But why are we here? Why on this particular road? So on Wednesday night, a few days ago, I came down here to see my first Muay Thai boxing. And this is also part of that story which I'm about to tell you. But I thought I'd show you guys first what this street looks like. So another happening street in terms of nightlife, bars, massages, all that fun stuff they could be looking for. So initially when I was here in Chiang Mai last week, I struggled to find uh, much happening stuff and now I'm actually running into more and more streets like this. So this place is not too far from the fire gate, which is one of the main gates out of four, because it's got a four walls around it, around the old city, not very long. So Wednesday night after watching the Muay Thai, I went out on a big night out, unplanned, but it was huge. I love this. Here's to the point where I don't even remember the last time I was partying out when the bars actually closed and I came home when the sun was just rising. On Wednesday night, that happened. I abused alcohol, like I, I abused it. I think, I think if alcohol was a person, I would have been charged with probably grievously bodily harm, not even common assault, like, you know, serious stuff. For those who are not from legal background, uh, you don't want your name on that, that charge shit. It's, it's bad, but the point is I abused it. Like, I should have been, um, have a restraining order, but luckily alcohol is not a person. Hello, ladies. Yeah. They're, they're happy, they're happy. Very friendly people of Thailand. Anyway, so that's what happened. So now I decided to give my liver a bit of a break. So I think we are approaching the Muay Thai arena. I'm sure it was somewhere here. Oh yeah, there we go. It's called uh, Loy Crow. Oh, it's on a Loy Crow street, so it makes sense. So we're going in there, so this is where the Muay Thai happens. I think it's all finished. Or maybe they're having a break, but in that little street. That's where it happens. And I think I have approached to the end of this bit. So that's the story, guys. Sober on Friday night in Chiang Mai. I must have had done some, uh, something crazy, eh? Man, it was a big night. Like, I still don't feel like alcohol. Like, not that I'm trying to be a good boy. I just, I thought of even drinking. Like, I do drink a bit, but geez, that was, I think that was, that was too much. All right, you know what? Traveling, lesson learned. And what happened is when you, when I drink, you know, it's just hard the next day. I can't really plan. And when I'm traveling, I need to be in that unfoggy mind frame so I can actually plan my stuff, you know, be a little bit more productive because solo traveling is, it's, it's hard. It's not easy. Hard in terms of, yes, you have your, um, you know, your time, me time, that kind of stuff. But it also means you have to plan everything by yourself. There's no other person to encourage or share those responsibilities or such. Good Good times, bad times, but you know, when you're traveling solo, you gotta be switched on. You gotta be like, okay, I need to go next place. If not, you know, I'm not saying planning months in ahead, but at least, at least a few days. If not, a week is, I think, a pretty safe option. So far, I have realized. Anyway, I bought my ticket today to uh, Pai. It's a little cute town. My initial videos, I was saying, oh, I'll tell you when I get there, but I think I can't just hold hold back to it. It's a beautiful, beautiful town, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm uh, leaving Chiang Mai in uh, two days, so on Sunday. I'm uh, hoping to continue my sobriety, but definitely not drinking tonight. And uh, when I get to Pai, I've heard 
amazing things about it. It wasn't part of the plan. It just came up and that's what I love traveling with no particular plans or no particular bookings in ahead of time so I can actually you know be flexible and do that. Well I hope to see you in those um, videos especially the pie one that's going to be amazing I'm looking forward to it. So if you're new to the channel please do subscribe and uh, press that uh, bell icon so when I post the future videos you will get the notifications straight away. If you like this video or my videos in general would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Any questions, comments, curious complaints, put it down in the comment box below. Well, saying that, I'll leave you guys to it. I hope you guys like this uh, another stretch of it. When I head back to my hotel where I'm staying, it's actually on the main stretch, another main stretch as well. Uh, if it's a lot happening, I'll try to make a video of that as well. I have done previously videos of that. Sorry, mate. But uh, we'll see. I'll just get off the road. Anyway, guys, I'll call it a night. Go for a massage. But I'll see you very soon. Goodbye and take care.